Hi, I'm Valerie Milano from the Hollywood Times. And your name? Hi, I'm Noah Margov with the film Sulam. Excellent. How are you today? I'm great. I just came back from our award ceremony and I won Best U.S. Uh, student Short. Oh, bravo. Congratulations. That Thank is you. so exciting. I bet you're on cloud nine. Yeah, it's the first award for the film, so it's really exciting. Oh, I am so happy for you because I loved the film and you so deserve it. Thank you so much. What timing that I get, the Hollywood Times gets to interview you. So, <laughs> bravo. <laughs> oh, good. No, I, I love it. We've been missing each other and I'm sorry I didn't get to see you at the festival. Totally fine. We were ships in the night, they say, you know. So, I'm but, still here and very, very overheated stuff. So. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, I won't take a whole lot of your time, but No, it's my pleasure. It's really my pleasure. I'm so happy to be talking to you. And what what was the name of the award? It's the best uh US student short. Lovely. Gosh. Yay. Yeah, so they, they do student short awards too, so, and this was um one of them. Yay. So student, tell me about that. Um I'm in the grad film program at NYU Tisch um, for my master's. And so uh, this was my, it's called the second year film. So this is the film I made in my second year. And I just finished my third year. And now I'm uh, working on my thesis and a feature script. So I'm just like wrapping up. And how old are you? I'm 30. Oh, so you're you're in school. You're doing your thing, huh? Well, thing, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. You're breaking up a little bit. So um, I'm going to. I'm, I'm so going to just make sure I hear all your words because I want to. So we Thank all you. want to. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's okay. Where are you right now? I'm right next to the theater. Okay. All right. Because I've been spending days there myself. But right now I'm in my home office in Los Angeles. So okay. I had to get back here. But anyway. Um, so what I think I want to start with is, you know, did you write the film from your own experience? Yeah, definitely. It was, it's based on a lot of stories that I um, experienced and like would tell about um, my experiences immigrating to the U.S. with my parents and um, how they would always, how I really wanted them to be American and sort of like as a child wanting to have like American parents and wanting them to move through, especially with my mom, wanting her to move through um just regular spaces with ease and realizing that that was probably not going to happen. Um, and the shame that I felt, uh, you know, about just about her, I was really ashamed of her as a kid. And then as I became an adult, like really kind of challenging that memory and realizing I really empathize with her and how hard it must have been for her. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I had a funny feeling that that was the case. Um, well, in the film, you paint a, a picture of codependency uh, between a single mother and daughter. And what effect does that have, if you can answer this, on uh, immigrant children in particular? Yeah, that's definitely like what I wanted to dive into with the piece, because I think for a lot of us who are immigrant kids or first generation kids, you're you're like a third parent with your parents like you're more like a teammate because you grow up really fast and you're like supporting them and soldiering a lot of like like at least for me I felt like I had to be really strong you know like we we really struggled financially and I I felt like I had to like keep a brave face about it and and then I was also like translating and like teaching them American culture because as the kid you pick up on it faster you know um so I think yeah, it just creates a strange dynamic that I, I'm sure a lot of people experience in different ways um, with their parents, depending on the relationship, but of just having to grow up really fast and um, and and be supportive. Uh, yeah, and be supportive of, of your family in a way that a child usually doesn't have to do. Was it difficult um, to pack all the film's emotions into just 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny that you say that because that's kind of been the biggest thing that people have called out. They're like, it's so emotional and so little time. 
I think that's just the style of filmmaking that I like. I like to jump into the action. I'm not a very, I really love films that are patient and slow, but like the kinds of films that I make, it's like, bam, you just, (laughs) you just drop in. And, um, you know, it's one of my writing professors, Mick Cassell, who's just brilliant. And he's been a screenwriter for years. He always says, you know, get into the scene as late as possible and get out as early as possible. And so, and it's, I, and like, I think that's what gives it momentum. And that's the style of filmmaking that I like. And I like building the tension that way and just keeping you like on your toes, um, flowing through, through the film. And so, yeah, I think the packing in the emotion comes, uh, as a byproduct of that style. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Cause I don't know if I could, you know, when, as a writer, we have to edit our words and it, that's one of the hardest parts to tell you the truth, but good for you that you can, you can do that and you like it. Yeah. And I think also like I learned a lot with, again, cause I'm still in school. So like this whole thing was a huge learning experience for me. And I learned a lot about, you know, the beauty of cinema is like, you don't, dialogue is amazing and I love writing dialogue it's one of my favorite things but there's also so much that happens about what's not said you know for example the last scene in the film like it just it has to be without dialogue it that was so important to me because like that's the beauty of the medium you know like you can't do that in a play you you don't do you know it's like that's cinema um that you can create a moment like that without dialogue and I think that's something really special about screenwriting for film Good, because I was going to ask you about that, so I'm glad you talked about it. Um, your work is so good. Um, I, what can, can we expect more from you soon? Yes, um, I I have one more movie to make. I'm working on a thesis, um, another short for school, so I can graduate, and then um, and then I'm I have a feature, a first draft of a feature script um, that I that's kind of like. It's a first draft, so is it? It's ready as a first. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited. I've got one more short in me, but I'm really excited to move into features really soon. Um, so that's kind of the goal coming up. Wonderful. Well, how can our viewers, our readers, find you? Um, I have an Instagram. It's no Margov Wells, and I also can you spell um, that? Spell it for for us. Yep, yeah, of course. It's N O A M A R G O V one two. Um, one two. That's yeah. your Instagram. Okay. Um, and then also I have a website which is just my first and my last name, noamargov.com. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So are you uh, it, uh, presenting it to other festivals? Well, I know you just won this award, so you don't know. I'm going to let you go in just a minute so you can go celebrate. But what do you know? Exciting being here with the award. It's like, yeah, it's the first award for the film. And I'm just, I'm really, it's, it's just always like so happy. I'm so happy that it got, it got recognition. And like, as an artist, you just really hope that people connect with your work. Like that's the whole thing. Like, and I said this yesterday in, in the Q&A, but I think the last piece of making the film is like the audience, right? It's like, that's the final step. And it, the film really transforms when people watch it and receive it. And so, yeah, this is just really special for me because it's just that feedback that it's like, okay, at least like some people, you know, and it really just, you just want one or two, like it doesn't matter, but it's like some people really got it and connected to it. Um, and that's just such a pleasure. It's like, okay, I can make 20 more of these now, you know. Is it an actual statue? Is it a certificate? Let me try and show it to you. I'm propping up my phone with it. So let's see. <laughs> oh, how funny. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's one. see if we can juggle. Oh, God bless America. I love it. Oh, my God. I got to take a picture. That's amazing. I love you already, Noam. I love it. Thank you. Likewise. And I like, yeah, I just like, 
I like don't win awards that often. That's like such a weird thing to say. But like as a kid, like it's, it's just like cool to win an award. Makes me want to cry. You're amazing. Well, good. Well, we're going to let you go. And I'm just so happy that the Hollywood Times had this moment with you. Me too. And, and please- it's, it's so special. I can't believe we timed it like this. I'm I'm so honored and I'm I'm happy I get to share with you. Oh, thank you so much. It is very special. And please keep us on your list for your other other projects. Have a great time. Go go celebrate. <laughs> all right, babe. Take care. Okay, thank you. I'll tell Henry we got it. We we got lovely. it all. That's a beautiful thing. Thank it you. It was really lovely talking to you. Thank you Good so much. Up. You're great. Yeah. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye.